We're going to go now to talk about the meaning of moral inability. 好，我们继续要讲到道德上的无能是什么意思呢 ？Now this teaches us that men are unable to love God. 这是教导我们人不能爱神。They are unable to obey God. 也不能顺服神。And they are unable to please God. 也不能讨神的喜悦。Now, when we hear something like this, 当我们听了这样的教训哈 ，we say,、um, if man cannot do these things, how is he responsible? 如果人不能够做这些事，他怎么有任何责任呢？ I mean, we can't hold a man responsible for not loving God if he cannot love God. 如果人不能爱神，我们怎能够追究他的责任，追讨他呢 ？I give you an illustration. 好，给你个例子啊。It would be wrong to punish a blind man because he cannot read a book. 我们不能够惩罚一个盲眼的人，因为他不能读书。So if man cannot love or obey God, 如果人本来就不能够爱神，不能够顺服神。Then how can he be、uh, responsible? He 怎么有责任要向他所犯的罪负责呢 ？What we need to understand is this. 我们需要明白的是 ，Man is not a victim. 人不是个牺牲品啊。He is a guilty culprit. 他是一个有罪的、有责任的人。If man could not love God or obey God, 如果人不能够顺服神、不能爱神 ，because he lacked The faculties to do so. Because he lacks the faculty, the ability, the ability, the ability, the ability, the ability, the ability. Then it would be wrong to hold him responsible. Then, then, to want to punish him, that's wrong. But here's what I want you to see. 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 Is a moral inability. Is 一个道德上的无能 And it comes from his hostility toward God. 是因着他对神的敌意 Let me put it this way. 我我这么讲好了 Man is unable to love God. 人不能爱神 Because he hates God. 因为他恨神 Man is unable to obey God. 人不能顺服神 Because he disdains his commands. Because God hates God's law. And man is unable to please God. Man cannot 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 please God. Man Can you go find mom? You 去找妈妈吧 Okay, I gotta finish this film. You close the door behind you too. Okay. <laughs> oh God. All right. Well, let's keep going with the class. 我们继续上课啊 What I want you to say to see. 我要说要你看到的是 Is man is unable to please God. 人不能讨神喜悦 Because he hates God. 因为他恨神 Now I'm going to give you a wonderful example of this. 我给你一个很好的例子啊 And it's found in the scriptures. 是在圣经里的 I want us to go to Genesis 37:4. 我们看看创世纪的三十六章第四三十七章第四节 In Genesis 37:4, it says, 四节说 His brothers, that is Joseph's brothers. Saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, and so they hated him and could not speak to him on friendly terms. Joseph's 的哥哥，他的哥哥们见父亲爱约瑟过于爱他们，就恨约瑟，不与他说和睦的话。Now it says that they could not speak to him friendly. 这里说他们就不与他说和睦的话。Now why not? They spoke the same language. They spoke the same language. But it says they literally could not speak to him a kind word. They 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 they
You need to forgive your husband. And many times I've heard them respond this way. I cannot. And I go, what do you mean you cannot? Her anger and bitterness toward her husband has imprisoned her. She's so angry with him that her anger keeps her from forgiving. She cannot forgive. But it's her fault, isn't it? It's her hatred. Or imagine this. There is a prisoner in the jail cell. He's a criminal. And he has fought against the king. Who is a good king. So one day the king comes down to the dungeon. He looks at the prisoner. And he has mercy. And he opens up the door. He says, come out. You're free to go. You just have to acknowledge that I'm king. The man walks over. Grabs, grabs the door, slams it, locks himself back in the prison, and he says, I would rather die in prison than acknowledge that you're king. I hate you so much, I cannot. So you, that's what we mean by moral inability. When we say that men cannot love God, or cannot obey God, they can't because they hate Him. And their hatred will not allow them to. Now there is a, a debate about the freedom of man's will. Many years ago, a theologian by the name of Luther, he wrote a book called The Bondage of the Will. He said that the will of man was not free. That it was in bondage. Now that again presents a problem. If man's will is in bondage, then how can he be responsible? Do you understand the problem? Well, here's the answer. The question, does man possess a free will? The scriptural answer is this. I'm going to read something that I've written. Man is free to choose as he pleases. But because his nature is morally depraved, it pleases him to turn away from the good and to do evil. It pleases man to hate the truth and believe a lie. It pleases man to deny God and fight against his will. And let me put it this way. We can almost say it like this. Man has a free will. But he doesn't have a good will. He's free to make any choice he wants. But because his heart is evil, he chooses contrary to God. Now, 
I want to repeat something. 好，我要重再重复啊。Why am I teaching this? 为什么我要教再三的教这个 ？So that you will realize in the ministry. 好，叫你明白在你的服侍当中。That only the power of God can save men. 唯独神的大能才能拯救人。Through the preaching of the gospel. 借着福音的传扬才能拯救人。You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on the church. You've already told me that the West is having more and more influence on More and more people are going to come to China. 未来会有越来越多人来到中国。Who, who have a very superficial view of how evil man is. 他们会对人的本性的邪恶有肤浅的认识而已。And they are going to attempt to heal men with superficial means. 他们会用一些很肤浅的方法来想要设设法要医治人的心。They're like the false prophets in Jeremiah. They're 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 like the false prophets in Jeremiah. And the power of the Spirit of God. And the Verses. Let's start in verse sixteen. 我们从十六节开始看啊，马太第七章。Now, what we're going to see here is something very important. 我们要看的是很重要的一件事啊。This is critical to understanding man. 这对了解人性是非常关键性的。I want you to look at the the idea of nature. 我要你看看这个本性是大自然啊。And the idea of will. Oh, 是人的本性和人的意志。Nature has to do with what we really are. 本性讲到人的本质啊，本来是什么样的 ？The will has to do with the decisions that we make. 意志有关于我们所做的决定。And the will is dependent upon the nature. 人的决定是出于人的本性。Again, if we had a plate of garbage on this table. 好，我再再举一次啊，这个例子。如果我们在这里有 a plate of garbage， 有一叠垃圾在这儿。Your will rejects it. 你的意志拒绝它。Why? 为什么 ？Because you have the nature of a human being. 因为你里头有人的本性。Human beings don't eat garbage. 人就是。不喜欢垃圾的。But if we were all pigs， 如果我们是猪的话呢 ？Our will would be let's eat the garbage。我们的意志就会决定要选择吃垃圾了。So the nature of a thing determines the decisions it makes。所以我们的本性会决定我们所做出的决定。A person with an evil heart， 一个有邪恶心灵的人。Is going to choose evil over good. 就会选择善，择善，而拒绝，呃，选择择恶，拒绝善。In verse sixteen, 第十六节 ，we have a beautiful illustration of this. 我们有一个很好的例子啊。You will know them by their fruits. 这样，十 sixteen chapter seven verse sixteen. 凭他们的果子。就可以认出他们来。Grapes are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor figs from thistles, are they? 荆棘上岂能栽葡萄呢？蒺藜里岂能栽无花果呢 ？Can you describe to me the bark of an apple tree? 你可不可以形容
苹果树的皮皮是什么样子？能不能形容 ？Probably not。可能不懂啊，不晓得什么样。Can you？ 灰色的。OK， gray。Maybe the same one. Can you describe to me exactly what an apple leaf looks like? You can explain to me what an apple leaf looks like. Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? Can you explain to me what an apple leaf looks like? But if we see a tree with apples on it, 但是你看到一棵树上有苹果、啊、，we know it's an apple tree. 你就知道是苹果树了。We know it by its fruit. 我们借着果子，凭它果子就认出它来，对不对 ？Okay. Now he goes on to say this. 他说 ，Grapes are not gathered from thorn bushes. 荆棘上岂能摘葡萄呢 ？You don't find grapes on a thorn bush. 你在荆棘里头，你找不出葡萄吗？没有葡萄。They are two completely different things. 它是两种不同的。You find thorns on a thorn bush. 你在荆棘丛里头找到荆棘吗 ？You find grapes on a grape vine. 你在葡萄树上找到葡萄吗？葡萄果子。The fruit conforms to the nature of the tree. 这个果子跟树的本质是相符合的。That's the same way with men. 人也是如此。The Bible says we're born with a corrupt heart. 圣经告诉我们，天生就有一个败坏的心。The fruit from that is also corrupt. 所以从这个心里头出来的果子也是败坏的。The decisions that we make are corrupt. 我们所做的决定，我们的意志的决策也是败坏的。We choose evil over good. 我们宁可要恶，不要善。Man is free to choose. 人是自由可以选择的。But he chooses evil. But he chooses evil. Because his nature is 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 A tree that is good by its nature, 一个本性好的树 produces good fruit, 就结出好果子嘛。And a bad tree produces bad. 坏树就结坏果子嘛。It's the same with a man. 人也是如此。If his heart is bad, 如果他的心是坏的 ，the fruit of his life will be bad. 他所结出的果子也是坏的。Now look at verse eighteen. 再看第十八节啊。This is an amazing statement about moral inability. 这里是一个很叫人惊讶的。的话啊，讲到人的无能，无道德上的无能。A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. 好树不能结坏果子。Nor can a bad tree produce good fruit. 坏树不能结好果子。Now what is this telling us? 这这这教我们什么 ？That the tree bears fruit according to its nature. 树根据它的本性结果子。And a man does that which is according to his nature. So, 人也根据他自己的本性做出他的行为。If he is truly a morally depraved creature, 如果他是一个真正的道德上败坏的人 ，then he is going to make morally corrupt decisions. 他也会做出道德上错误的决定。He's going to decide against God and in favor of evil. 他会弃绝神，他会选择恶事。Now look at Matthew twelve. 再看马太第十二章。Look at verse thirty-four. 三十四节。And thirty-five. 那三十五节。He says, "You brood of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak what is good? For the mouth speaks out of that which fills the heart. The good man brings out his good treasure." Out of his good treasure, what is good, and the evil man brings out of his evil treasure what is evil. 毒蛇的种类，你们既是恶人，怎能说出好话来呢？因为心里所充满的，口里就说出来。善人从他心里所存的善，就发出善来；恶人从他心里所存的恶，就发出恶来。Now look at what Jesus is saying in thirty-four. 你看三四节，耶稣说的 ，The mouth and the heart are directly related. 口与心是息息相关的。Do you remember Isaiah? You remember Isaiah? When he came before the Lord in the vision in Isaiah six, in Isaiah six, chapter six, when he saw the Lord, he said, 
I am a man of unclean lips. 他是我是他说我是嘴唇不洁的人。And I dwell among a people of unclean lips. 我也住在嘴唇不洁的人的人当中。Now why is he talking about his lips? 为什么他要讲他的嘴呢？嘴唇。His lips are an indication of what's in his heart. 因为他的嘴唇是把他心中所存的显明出来的。Jesus says to the Pharisees. Jesus 对以赛呃对以法利赛人说 He said it's impossible for you to say anything good. 你们这些人不可能说出任何好话来 Why? 为什么 Because you're evil. 因为你们的心是邪恶的 And because you're evil, you're not going to say anything good. 你们恶人怎么能说好话呢 And then in thirty five, he says, "A good man brings out of his good treasure what is good." 三十五节他说，善人从他心里所存的善就发出善来 He's saying, "If you had a good heart," he said, "If you had a good heart, then good words would come forth." 那么好的话也会从你口中说出来。But since you have an evil heart, 那既然你有一个恶心 ，evil words come forth. 所以坏话就从你口中说出来。There is a direct relationship between the two. 所以这两者间有一个息息相关的关系。So man, man is free. 所以人是自由的。To do whatever his heart wants him to do. 他的心要做什么，他就可以做什么。But his heart is evil. Because his heart is evil. Now, I want us to look at something here. Let's look at Psalm 51. 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 Let's look at Psalm
并不遵循神的诫命。They don't even like his commandments. 他们也不喜欢他的诫命。They'll say his commandments are oppressive. 他们说，哎，这这些诫命太压抑人了。Jesus said, "If you love me, you keep my commandments." 耶稣说，如果你爱我，就要遵循我的诫命啊。Now look in Romans five ten. 再看罗马书第五章第十节。For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. 因为我们做仇敌的时候，且借着神的儿子的死得与神和好，既已和好，就要就更要因他。的身得救了。So we've learned in Romans one thirty that men are haters of God. 所以我们在罗马书第一章三十节讲到人是怨恨神的。And we learn in Romans five ten that they're enemies of God. 罗马书五章十节讲到人跟神是做仇敌的。Sinful man, 罪人 ，has basically declared war on God. 基本人基本上已经向神宣战了。Now I want us to look at some things that are very important. Well. 你们看一些很重要的事啊。Why does fallen man hate God? 为什么堕落的人会恨恶神呢 ？Why is he against him? 为什么他要反对神 well, ？We find some very important answers in the Bible. 在圣经里有些很重要的答案。First of all, go to John chapter three. 第一，我们看约翰福音第三章。Verse nineteen and twenty. 十九到二十节 Jesus said, "This is the judgment that light, the light, has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light, for their deeds were evil. For every one who does evil hates the light and does not come into the light, for fear that his deeds will be exposed." 光来到世间，世人因自己的行为是恶的，不爱光，倒爱黑暗。定他们罪的就是在此。凡作恶的便恨光，并不来救光，恐怕他的。他的行为受责备。Now why does fallen man not want God? 为什么堕落人不要神呢 ？Because God is light. 因为神就是光啊。God is holy. 神是圣洁的。Men are evil. 人是邪恶的。And they do not want to come to the light. 他们不愿意来救光。Because their evil will be exposed. 因为他们的罪恶会被暴露出来。Uh, you turn over a big rock. You 把一块大石头给翻过来。And there's all kinds of insects underneath. 下面就会有很多的小虫子。And the moment the light hits them, they start to run. 当光一光照这些小虫子，他们就到处飞窜。They love the darkness. 他们喜欢黑暗。They would rather live in darkness. 他们宁可住在黑暗中。They feel safer in darkness. 在黑暗中，他们觉得更安全。That's the way the sinner is. 罪人就是如此。Have you ever noticed that most of the Excuse me. Most of the sinful activity of men they do at night. You 注意到没有？大多数人犯罪是在晚上犯。They hide and they do not want it to be exposed. 他们躲起来，他们不愿意曝光。You notice that most of the the taverns and the discotheques don't have windows. 你注意到没有？大多数那些呃酒吧间啊，或者是舞舞厅啊，都没有没有窗子的。Because men want to hide. Because 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 men want to Of men that they are treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. 讲到人呢、啊，卖主卖友，任意妄为，自高自大，爱宴乐，不爱神呐、啊。Jesus said, "Men do not come to the light because their deeds are evil." 耶稣说，人不愿意来救光，因为他们所行的是恶的。And Paul said that men do not love God because they love their wicked pleasures. 嗯，保罗说，人不爱神，因为他们爱宴乐，他们。And God tells them that their wicked pleasures are wrong. 神告诉他们，你们这些邪恶的宴乐是错误的。Now, here's something that we need to understand about preaching, also. 我们这里啊，有些事你需要明白讲道啊。Now we don't need to be mean-spirited or critical. 我们不需要恶狠狠的，或者成天挑别人毛病，鸡蛋挑骨头啊，不需要。But 
If you want everybody to love you, 如果你要人人爱你的话 ，all you have to do is always tell them nice things about themselves. 你所需要做的就是天天就讲他们好话啊，你们多好多好。Everybody will love you. 人人都会爱你。But you would not be very loving. 但是你就没有爱心了。<笑> you must tell men the truth. 你必须把真话告诉他们。And because of that, they will hate you. 因此他们就会恨你。You know there have been cases. You know, 有有些情况 where a doctor will tell someone they have cancer. 一个医生告诉病人你患了癌症啦，绝症啦。He does that because he wants the patient to be healed. 他告诉他的原因是他要病人得医治。But the patient will react violently. 但是这些病人反而会很强烈的反应。And even fight against the doctor. 甚至跟医生打仗。<笑> See, people do not want to be told bad news about themselves. 你知道，人不愿意听有关他们自己的坏消息。Uh, here in America, 现在在美国 ，people will say this. 人会说 ，Talk to me about anything. 你可以跟我讲任何事情 ，except religion. 别跟我讲宗教啊。<笑> They don't want to hear religion. 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 They don't Is because the mind set on the flesh is hostile toward God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not even able to do so.、Uh, verse ten,、uh, chapter eight, verse seven. Seven, 第七节啊，第七节。原来体贴肉体的，就是与神为仇，因为不服神的律法，也是不能服。Here again is a perfect example. 哦，这里又是一个美好的例子啊。Men cannot subject themselves to God. 人不能服神。Because they hate him. Because God, they hate him. You know,、um, when men first meet their wives and fall in love with them. You know, when men first meet their wives and fall in love with them. You know, when men first meet their wives and fall in love with them. You know, when men first meet their wives and fall in love with them. You know, when men first meet their wives and fall in love with them. You know, when men first meet their wives and fall in love I would love to take out the trash for you. 我我乐意把垃圾搬走。Thank you for the privilege of letting me take out the trash. 谢谢你给我这个荣幸，把垃圾拿为你拿走。Now why is he that way? 为什么他起初会这样 ？Because he really loves her. 因为他爱他妻子嘛。He's carried away by that love. 他被那个爱迷住了。But then, as he gets, as the relationship gets older, his love grows cold. 嗯，但是当他们日久，就就慢慢淡漠了。And the wife says, "Honey, take out the trash." 那妻子说，呃，亲爱的，把垃圾给搬走吧。And he says, "Oh, take out the trash yourself." 那个男人就说，你自己来吧。<laughs> Now, 好 ，That's a funny illustration. 这是一个很好笑的例子啊。But it shows us something important. 但是教导我们很重要的功课。Men who love God, 人爱神。Will want to submit to God's will. 就会乐意甘心的顺服神的旨意。They want to please God. 他们要讨神喜悦。But men who hate God. 但是人恨神。They have no desire to please Him. 他们就没有想要讨神喜悦的欲望。And no desire to serve Him. 也不想要服侍神。Now. Another thing we need to know. 另外一个我们要注意的是 ，is that fallen man cannot know about the things of God. 堕落的人不能够知道有关神的事。Now you say, well, if he can't know them, how can he be responsible? 你你会说，他根本就不能知道，他怎么会有责任呢 ？Well, let's look once again at Romans chapter one. 再看罗马书第一章。Verse eighteen. 第十八节啊。For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth and unrighteousness. 好，原来神的愤怒从天上显明在一切不谦不义的人身上，就是那些行不义、阻挡真理的人。Now, why do these men not know the truth? 为什么这些人不知道真理呢
Because they cover their ears and their eyes. Because they cover their ears and their eyes. Because they cover their ears and their eyes. They do not want to know the truth. They do not want to know the truth. They do not want to know the truth. So they are guilty. So they have committed crime. Even though they do not know. Even though they do not know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not know. Because they do not want to know. Because they do not 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 know. This is a wonderful example of what we're talking about. This is a very good example of what we're talking about. Job says they say, or, or it's here in the in the book of Job. I think it is.、Uh, yeah, it's Job speaking. Okay. Um. Yeah, boss. They say to God, "Depart from us. We do not even desire the knowledge of your ways. Who is the Almighty that we should serve Him?" And what would we gain if we entreated him? They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" They say to God, "Leave us alone. We do not want to know your ways. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Lord? And what would we gain if we entreated him?" Unless first God changes his heart. 除非神首先改变他的心，要不然他不能认识神。Now I want us to also look at、um, just briefly a couple more things. 我们也再看几件事情啊，简简单单。First of all, fallen man cannot seek God. 第一，堕落的人不能寻求神。Now look in Romans chapter three. 我们再看罗马书第三章。And let's look at what it says about all men. Romans three. 我看罗马书第三章告诉我们人类的所有人类的光景如何。Verse eleven. 第十一节。There is none who understands. There is none who seeks for God. 没有明白的，没有寻求神的，没有。Men do not seek for God. 人不寻求神。Now sometimes they do. 有时候他们会啊。Mainly, it's because they need something. 嗯，主要是他们需要一些东西，他们就寻求了。But they don't seek for God just because of God. 但他们不寻求神本身，为着神而寻求神，他们不那么做。Now this is just a truth. 这这是真理啊。There's no denying it. 这不能否认它。We tell men that they ought to seek God. 我们告诉人，你们应该寻求神。But the Bible says no man seeks God. 但圣经告诉我，没有人寻求神。So when I tell a man seek God, 所以当我告诉人你要寻求神呐、啊、，I recognize that God must help the man, assist the man by His power. 所以我认识到神必须借着他的大能帮助他，他才能来寻求神。God must change his heart and make him willing to seek Him. 神必须要先改变他的心，让他愿意寻求神。And this is what Jesus was teaching in the book of John. This is John 福音耶稣所教导的 Look in John. 你看约翰福音 Chapter six for a moment. 第六章，我们看一看一看 Verse forty four. 四十四节 Now, before we read this, 我们没有读之前呢 Remember what Jesus said in John three. 记得约翰福音第三章怎么说的 He was the light. 耶稣，我就是光，他是光。And men did not want to come to the light. 人不愿意来救光 ，because their deeds were evil. 因为他们所行的是恶的。So how can a man come? 所以人怎么能来救光呢 ？Jesus tells us in verse forty-four.、Uh, 六章四十节，耶稣说 ，He says， 他说 ，Let's see.、Uh, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. He says, 若不是差我来的父吸引人，就没有能到我这里来的。到我这里来的，在末日我叫他复活。And in verse sixty-five, 还有第六十五节。And he was saying, for this reason I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted him from the Father. 耶稣又说，所以我对你们说说过，若不是蒙我父的恩赐。没有人能到我这里来。Now,、uh, people can come to church without the power of God drawing them.、啊、你知道，没有神的大能吸引人，人照样可以来教会
Especially if you don't preach the gospel in the church. 这个教会不不传福音，他更能来。If you have a lot of entertainment， 或者你有很多的娱乐节目 ，and things that are pleasing to the flesh， 能够叫你肉体很快乐的事情 ，you can get a person to come to church。你可以吸引人来教会，没错。If you feed them rice every Sunday， 如果每个礼拜给他中国餐吃。But you can't bring them to Jesus. 但是你不能把他带到耶稣面前来。Only God can do this by His power. 只有神借着他大能才能吸引人到他自己面前。And God has promised to most manifest His power. 神应许了，什么时候彰显他的大能呢 ？When we faithfully preach the gospel. 就是当我们忠心的传讲福音的时候。And we intercede. 我们祷告为他们带到的时候。Remember the weapons. 记得我们的兵器 ，the preaching of the gospel， 就是传讲福音 ，intercessory prayer， 代祷在神面前 ，and sacrificial love， 跟牺牲的爱。There's a testimony about a Chinese man, a farmer。有一个有关中国农夫的一个见证啊。He was a Christian。他是个基督徒。And every morning he would get up and get on this bicycle thing to pump water into his rice field. 每天早上他会起来，他会用脚把那个水啊给给灌吸上来，来灌溉他的田。And every morning his neighbor would get up and open the gates and drain all the water out of his field. 每天早上呢，他的邻居也会起来，然后把那个土给松开，让水呢能够下去，流到他自己的田里。But the man was a Christian. 那这个人是个基督徒啊，在上面。So he did not yell at his neighbor. 所以他没有骂他的邻居。After the neighbor would drain his field, 那他的邻居把他水给弄干了。Then he would pump the water in his also. 他再一次呢，把水给吸上来。And then one day, the Lord showed the Chinese Christian something. 有一天呢，神就向这个基督徒的农民呢。And so the next morning he got up. 呃，第二天早上他起来。And he pumped water. 他又踩水踩上来。Not into his field. 不是把水踩到自己的田里。But into his neighbor's field. 而是在踩到他农田的，他邻居的田里。Then after he filled his neighbor's field. 他灌溉了他他邻居的农田之后呢 ？Then he pumped water into his own. 他再把水给吸到自己的田里。Because he did that. 因为他如此做。The neighbor was very ashamed. So his 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 neighbor was very ashamed. So Is that fallen men cannot change or reform themselves? 就是堕落的人不能够改变自己，也不能够改改良自己。You know, the 20th century began with more optimism about man than any other century. 你知道二十世纪的开始，人对自己的乐观超过其他任何一个世纪。We thought that the 20th century would bring in peace. 我们认为二十世纪会带来平安，世界和平。The end of poverty. 呃，一切的贫穷都要结束。Great advancements. 很大的科技的发展进步。But the 20th century ended with war. 但是二十世纪的结束是增长。Poverty and violence. 是暴力和贫穷。No matter how much a man boasts about what he's going to do, he cannot change himself. 不管人如何夸口，他能成就什么？但是他不能救自己。Let's look in the book of Job again. 我们再看看约伯记啊。Chapter nine. 第九章。Verse twenty-nine and thirty-one. 二九到三十一节。He says, "I am accounted wicked. Why then should I toil in vain? If I should wash myself with snow and cleanse my hands with lye, yet you would plunge me into the pit, and my own clothes would abhor me." 我必被你定为有罪，我何必徒然劳苦呢？我用我若用血水洗身，用碱洗净洁净我的手，你还要我扔在我的坑里？
，我的衣服都憎恶我。Job is recognizing what all of us should recognize. 约伯认识到我们都应该认识到的事实。We cannot cleanse ourselves from our sin. We cannot make ourselves acceptable to God. 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 We cannot He's referring to men. He's referring to men. No man can make himself clean. 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 And use much soap. The stain of your iniquity is before me, declares the Lord. You 虽用碱，多用肥皂洗濯，你罪孽的痕迹仍然在我面前显出。这是主耶和华说的。Now in this text, we recognize something. 啊，在这段经文，我们看到一件事啊。We can not take away our sin. 我们不能够把自己的罪除掉。We cannot cleanse ourselves from it. 我们不能够。救自己脱离自己的罪。Only by the blood of Jesus Christ can our sins be cleansed. 唯有借着耶稣基督的血，我们的罪才能够得到洁净。Now in chapter thirteen, we're going to find something different. 好，十三章还是耶利米，我们看一些不同的事儿啊。Verse twenty-three, 二十三节。Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then you also can do good who are accustomed to doing evil. 古时人岂能改变皮肤呢？豹岂能改变斑点呢？若能，你们这习惯行恶的，便能行善了。Now we're coming to the end of the day, but this truth is so important. 好，我们今天就要结束了，但是这个真理太重要了。In Jeremiah two twenty two, 在耶利米书第二章二十二节。In Jeremiah thirteen twenty three， 十三章二三节。We have before us the only two real problems of man。我们在我们面前有人类的两个真正的问题。Man only has two problems。人只有这两个问题。The condemnation of sin。就是对罪的定罪和审判。And the power of sin。和罪恶的辖制的能力。Because of our sin, 因着我们的罪 ，the stain of our sin， 我们罪的痕迹啊，罪的污点 ，we are condemned by God， 我们被神定罪了 ，we can't remove that stain， 我们不能够把这个罪的痕迹、罪的玷污除掉 ，even if we wash ourselves with soap， 我们用用肥皂洗也洗不掉 ，but Christ died， 但基督死了。，and His blood can wash away the stain， 他的血可以洗净我们的罪污。Now in Jeremiah we have the second problem. 好，在耶利米书我们有第十三，有第二个问题。About the power of sin. 他讲到罪的能力。How can we who are accustomed to doing evil do anything good? 我们这些习惯行恶的人怎能行善呢 ？When a man is converted, 当一个人悔改得救了 ，God takes out his heart of stone. 神就把他的实心。除掉 ，and puts in its place a heart of flesh. 取而代之的，用一个肉的心代替他。He changes that man. 他把那个人改变了。He indwells that man with his spirit. 借着他的灵住在那个人心中。And that man can begin to do good. 那个人就可以开始行善了。And bear fruit. 开始结果子了。These are two of the most important doctrines in the Bible. 这是圣经上两个最重要的教义。The condemnation of sin, 罪的定罪 is removed by the death of Christ. 借着基督的死被除掉了，定罪被除了。The moment we believe in Jesus, 当我们信靠基督的那一刻 ，we are justified. 我们就被称义了。That's justification. 这是称义的教义。The if we believe in Jesus, 如果我们相信基督 ，the Holy Spirit has changed our hearts. 圣灵就改变了我们的心。He has indwelt us. He 就住在我们里面 ，and made us able to bear good fruit. 使我们能够结出善果来。That's the doctrine of regeneration. 这就是
重生的交易。With these two things, 这两件事 ，God does what is impossible for man. 神就为人类成就了他自己不可能做到的事。He puts an end to our condemnation. He he puts an end to our condemnation. 他使我们的定罪结束了，被结束了。And he changes our hearts so that we can do good. He 改变我们的心，好叫我们能够行善。And all that is through the gospel. 这一切都是借着福音。Well, let's pray. 祷告。Brother Larry, would you pray? 天父，我们再次感谢你，主，在我们的绝望、无助、不能自拔的光景中，借着福音，你向我们显明了。唯一的出路，基督，我们的救主，甘心流血，戴罪，成了救赎。感谢你，何等的恩主，荣耀归给你，奉耶稣基督的名。There you will find information about the ministry, our purpose, beliefs, and methodologies, and extensive information about the missionaries we are privileged to serve.